For those who don't know, I'm in search of a perfect mix that should look like a rainbow. I will go through huge amount of DJs to see if they got what it takes. If not, I'll make sure they will improve in the future and prove me wrong. Hi everyone, it's Bossa and this is Can You Mix? And today we have DJ Trio with interesting outcome. Let's greet. First off is Leo Ramos with Melodic Techno and Progressive House. Next is Antu with Tech House and Regetech. And finally, stunning Sarah Kraz with Melodic Techno and Progressive House. All right, let's begin with Leo Ramos. Uh, I called his set uh, Stretched Looper. Bear in mind that the set is one hour and 30 minutes long, but I'll try to be brief. Okay, he started off pretty amazing. First two tracks were boombastic. So it gave you one idea of the whole set, but after a second track, uh, it it turns out to be, it's, it's not what it is. It's much softer than the beginning itself. Uh, what I didn't like, uh, he had extremely long transitions. Like he he stretched them as as long as possible. That's that's, uh, and it was quite a few of them. Not every single one, but quite a few of them were like, whoa, like stretching out completely into nowhere. Uh, the second half, it felt like uh, it had a the tempo button on but i assume uh as you can see in a comment uh he said that the audio was modified by copyright so i assume that is the case that's why it sounded kind of weird as you can see by the graph it looks more or less flat but it had this uh massive dip in uh in the first half of the mix and this specific part it felt like it didn't belong in this set at all uh, it was out of context, so it was kind of misleading the crowd. What, what, what is happening? Am I here to rave or we're just listening? But anyway, let me show you some moments that I noticed uh, in the mix. He beautifully executed the mix on the eighth minute. Have a look. On a 15 minute, he mixed a track that uh, I would say irrelevant to this set. Uh, it had no bass. Here he unsuccessfully looped this noise, that high pitch noise, uh, and there's no way to get out of it, just to drag it along. So it kind of, I don't know when, when it's too repetitive it makes it not not nice for your ear basically and in one hour and one minute uh it feels like the tempo button was on but i'm not quite sure at least that's what it sounds like Overall, the mix was okay-ish. Uh, could have been proved here and there, but... So for the choices of tracks, I'm going to give him six. Uh, performance and journey, six as well. And for mixing, mm, seven, due to uh, loopy times. In total, it's 6.3. I'll give him a couple of advices. Uh, one of them is work on your upward mobility. Don't put weepy uh, tracks in the middle, I would say. Uh, maybe start with them or finish with them. I think the journey would be aligned much better. And don't loop too much. Keep it simple. Right, next is Antu. Uh, I call this mix Flat Mirage. Mirage, why? Well, look at the graph. Uh, it's because it's like he was teasing all this time. Um up till one hour i would say he was teasing uh, like a very long introduction to the actual mix and it just kicked in in an hour's time and unfortunately he posted the video with unfinished uh mix i would love to hear the rest because it was better part than the whole uh, first hour 
uh unfortunately i can't get it so it is what it is i'll rate it as it is now he mixed for one hour and 20 minutes in total the journey looks more or less flat uh but it slowly like goes down uh downtrend eventually he really loves to play with his effects sometimes a bit too much but tech house could be boring so why not why not spice it up a little i like his chill character and here are the little things that i found throughout the set right on the very first mix uh it was painful for my ears because the tracks don't match so it's out of key On the 10th minute, he done a risky thing. He mixed in with the transition and the drop at the same time. But therefore, you can have a beat match problems. Uh, basically, it's hard to execute. On the 33rd minute, he had a uh, drop with no bass. That was weird. And on 101, he had a clumsy effect fail. And the main thing he was doing, he, um, like almost on every transition, he was, so the track is going with the bass, then he puts it on only with highs, mixes in, and it, it, so it takes long, right? It's, we're talking about minute, maybe minute and a half. And then he drops just with the kick. I don't get it. it Maybe it's his style or what. But overall, the energy is kind of dying out. Uh, that's the whole point. Like, I would suggest uh, instead of just kick, you know, try try to find a spot where's the bass. So you can climb up or at least even it out, right? But anyway, let's jump on points. Uh, for track selection, I'll give him six. Performance and journey, eight. Not bad. And for mixing skills, well, he's chilling, experimenting. Uh, I'll give him seven. In total, he got seven uh, points. A couple of devices for him. Uh, work on upwards mobility. It could be hard because it's tech house, but I'm pretty sure it's possible. I don't recommend to mix on highs often, maybe just once or twice per set. And please, before you post anything on YouTube, give me the full set because you really teased me out through the whole journey. And I, I, I got disappointed at the end because I really, I only enjoyed what, 20 minutes out of this. So kind of sad, you left me sad there. And the last one for today is stunning Sarah Kraz. I called her mix, less is more. And if you would listen to this set, I highly recommend it. It's very awesome. And she, she doesn't do much and that's what makes it uh joyful for your ear it's awesome so far it's the best dj girl i found from this show but we'll see in the future there might be better ones she has amazing charisma and character as you can see by the graph it's only uh it was only an hour journey uh but it's amazing one let's check it out the moments that i found throughout the mix on 22nd minute, she had bass on bass transition. I don't know. I think it's too much. People keep doing it, but it just distorts the sound. On 27 minutes, she kind of killed it with uh, track difference. Like the first one was quite powerful with the kick than the second one. So the energy went down. But on 33rd minute, she successfully executed the transition. And on 52nd minute, she had a slight beat match issue. But despite of all these little moments, uh, I think the journey was pretty amazing. Her smile only flourishes the whole show. So for track choices, I give her solid nine. 
performance and journey nine as well and for mixing skills eight keep practicing on beat match and all that and uh, find the correct tracks and you'll get your 10 easy in total it's 8.6 pretty pretty good and a couple of advices for Sarah Kraz. Um, try to ace beat matching. Work on your upward mobility. And please create more sets like this. We need DJs like you more as possible. And of course, the question remains. Will I ever listen to these sets again? Leo Ramos. Sorry, man. No. Unto? No. But I would love to listen the part that you cut it out. And Sarah Kras, oh yes, I even saved it in my music library. Let me know what you think, comment below and like the video. And of course, subscribe to the channel so I can boost this content even further out. Yours truly, Boss Alive. I'll catch you later, people. I got an important meeting to attend to. It's called sleep. Ciao, guys. Adios. Oh.